Lee Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name's Nicole and um, this is my channel or, well, it's a crafting channel, but today's video is all about diamond painting. So basically in today's video, what I will cover is things I'm working on, things that I'm planning on starting, things that I may have purchased. Um, and all the good stuff that is diamond painting. So often we have tips and tricks and we'll do diamond paint with me and that's included in this video as well. So if that's something that you like, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it and then that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. I have a diamond painting video going up every Thursday unless of course life gets in the way then sometimes I can't post but every Thursday I put up a diamond painting video. Um, and we do cover other crafts here as well uh, such as cross stitch, sewing, quilting, patchworking, you know, it falls, all falls under the quilting banner really um, and anything else that takes my fancy and sometimes I come across new crafts that I like to, I like to try and I'll share that with you on a Saturday in the studio. So basically, um, yeah, that is our of my channel in a nutshell. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and spending it with me yet again. I do appreciate you um, coming by every week and saying hi. Uh, I get a lot of lovely comments and I do read them all and try to respond to them all um, within a timely manner. Um, <laughs> so yeah, sometimes it'll be a couple of days before I get back to you, but you know, life gets in the way. Busy lady, running two businesses, one with my husband, one here at home. So yeah, I do try to get to every um, comment that is put there. All right, so while we're talking about comments, I actually have a post on my community tab right now. Um, it's underneath the quilting, uh, the final assembly of the quilting one, but I'm asking for people to give me things that they want to see on the channel because you know like I, I do a lot of stuff where I just think oh yeah this is good I'll, I'll share this with everybody but I actually want to know what you want to see on my channel so I'm compiling a list and obviously there will be there are some things that I already have on the table that are getting filmed but the things that you put up there are being jotted down onto my to be filmed um, list and that way you get to see what you want on the channel not just for everything that I seem to be doing so because the channel is about you guys so maybe Make sure that you head over to the community tab and if you're not sure where the community tab is just look underneath the YouTube um, banner art and it'll be along there so you'll see home videos playlist community tab and then the about their channel click on the community tab and it's just like a news feed like you'd see on Instagram or or um, Facebook or so, uh, places like that and I often have polls there and I ask questions um, I might tell you what I give updates there and all that sort of stuff so head over there find that post it's the second one down from the top because um, I only put it up yesterday and tell me what you'd like to see on the channel whether it be diamond painting cross stitch sewing whatever you'd like to see or maybe it's a craft that I don't even cover um, and you'd like to know more about it I'm always up for learning new stuff so um, drop your comment there and don't forget to like the post as well so um, yeah if you could do that that'd be great it's just to give me some ideas you know sometimes you have a little bit of brain blockage <laughs> you can't think what to do so I'd really appreciate it if you go over and do that all right, so what did I work on this week? I worked on um, a couple of items, not too much. I have been pretty busy. Um, I've been quilting and making bags and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I'm just, and now I'm dyeing fabric this week as well. So I have been pretty busy. So I've only got a little bit of crafting in this week from because diamond painting is my hobby and so is cross stitch everything else is is well they still were are my hobbies but they're more turned into work so basically um yeah so basically i haven't touched on very much but i do have um a finish which is exciting i don't have an ffo um last week when i spoke to you i was going to try and get my uh, butterfly that i done for mia fully finished this week I'm really struggling to find a canvas in town. The one that um, Savannah said probably would work was too big. Um, so short of that, I may have to rethink how I'm going to do it. So um, I've gone to all the, the shops that carry the artist canvas here and it's just, it's actually not 30 by 30. It's actually nine and a half inches. So if it was, if it was the, the drill area, so the and the, but the outside to the right outside of the canvas which has the the what do you call it the legend on it where you know what you where you've got to place everything and what corresponds with what that's all there I don't want that there so my actual canvas piece is actually nine and a half and I didn't measure it I just went off what was on the thing because everything else I've ever bought when it says it is you know <clears throat> 30 by 40 or 
things like that it is actually the drill area that they're measuring not the actual size of the canvas and so basically I'm running into trouble trying to find this size canvas so I think I've got another plan I'm got I've got one more shop to go to um they weren't open when I went downtown the other day so I I'm going downtown again today so I'm going to go and check today see if I can get it if I can't I've got another plan of attack so <laughs> I think I have. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll find out. You'll know next week or the week after. All right. So, um, as I said, I did have a finish, which I'll show you in just a moment, but I'm going to just cover my whips. I am working on the braided, um, braided girl, a girl, sorry. And you can, uh, without too much glare, you can see here, I'm up to here now. So it's all starting to come together. I've finished all of that area there. I think I've just got a couple of drills to put in there for flowers, but all of that area is now done. Um, on their shirts and I've only got this much to go and this is all pretty much two colors yeah so I'll be doing a lot of multi-placing with that one I only um and I think I've actually discussed this before I, I struggle with multi-placing but with the square drills but with the round drills I seem to be doing okay but I can only do three at a time <laughs> so but it still moves it along a lot quicker than what you would expect I've just got a little bit of that flower to go to um, but yeah, that's coming along. So I should have, I, I'm thinking that I should have this finished easily by the end of the month, if not the first week of November. So, um, so I can just send that down to, um, Gail, pop it in a tube and, and uh, send it down to Gail and order that frame and she can drop it around because we've got until the, till Christmas to get it around there. So, um, I'll order the frame as soon as I send this, I'll order the frame. So as soon as it's finished because I'll take a picture and then um, play around on the frame shop and get it all sorted but I'm loving it it's coming together quite nicely so that was one piece that I worked on uh, which is my whip and as you will see in my uh, diamond paint with me at the um, towards the end of the video I actually had a new start which was the gift that I got um, that I showed you last week which was a uh, frost dragon I'm calling it because I can't say dragon ling uh, without tripping my tongue <laughs> by Jasmine Griff um, Beckett Griffith um, she has a very long name <laughs> and words sometimes escape me so yeah I started that this week so you'll see that um, I'm not going to pull that out each time to show you because it is quite a large canvas so it is going to be my uh, diamond paint with me for the foreseeable future because it is a big one and um, basically I might pull it out once every now and again and hold it up it's a little bit big so it's a little bit cumbersome to hold up but I did have a finish this week so I worked on another one and I ended up sitting up until um, I think it was like 12 30 Brendan I was sitting there diamond painting while Brendan was watching TV I had a book in um, and I listened to I got I got lost in the book and just kept diamond painting and before I knew it, it was like 12 30 I'm like oh my god but I finished it so that's the main thing so as you know I have been working on my day of the dead um, collection uh, that I have and she is done she is absolutely beautiful I love her I've replaced the um, washi tape with tiny little skulls um, just to clean it up but that'll give you an idea of what she's going to look like when she's framed she's absolutely beautiful I absolutely love her I love the vibrancy of the red and the, the black together you can see how sparkly she is um, we have hit a bit of a problem though I'm going to have to order a frame. Uh, the, the frames that I had suit a 50 by 60, which was the original one. They don't suit this size, so it would have too much of a mat board. So I'm going to order a frame for it today, and um, yeah, then you'll see her fully finished. And I can get frames exactly the same, so I'm not, I'm, it's no harm, no foul. And I'll just get acrylic in the front of it, and um, yeah. But I just love the way it's come together. And like, it's amazing. Like when you're up on close, like on top of it, you think, oh, it doesn't look right. Like when you look at the eyes and all the rest of it. But these are definitely meant to be admired from afar. Um, so as you can see, like her eyes have detail and all the, like nothing seems to be out of place. And what I do when I finish my pieces as well because you're placing the drills and you are on top of it I will actually stand like walk away from it come back take a photo walk away again and just give my eyes a rest of seeing the pixelation of all the the drills 
and then I will stand there and look at it and if something jumps out at me so for instance this here jumped out at me but when I have a closer look at it it actually looks like a bindi so I've left it but say over here in this red there was one brown dot or one black dot I would remove that and I have done that in some of the red I remove that and then put a red in so it doesn't because your eye will fit, will pick it out pretty much straight away and um, that's what I do to just clean the image up a little bit. Um, sorry about the truck starting. My husband's just going off to work. He'll be as quiet as he can. Here, there was a lot of, um, you can see down here, there's a little bit of brown and gray and whatnot. I actually ended up taking, there was quite a bit there and it looked quite weird. So I ended up taking a little bit out and just blended because you always end up with leftover colors. Um, and so that, I just blended that so sorry about that he can't he it can't be helped um he's running late this morning so life it's life everybody but yeah so i've cleaned the the image up a little bit there was only those couple of little spots that i was concerned about um i like the fact that it's even got the white in the eye as well to look like it's a reflection um it's turned out lovely i'm super super happy with it and um all the drills have stayed on as well which is really good um, and as I said, I didn't know where this one came from because it was actually a gift. So I wasn't hundred percent sure, but, um, yeah, I'm super happy with how it's turned out and I can't wait to get the frame for it. So I get to play on the frame shop today, um, which is always a dangerous thing, but anyway, um, and I think that I, and I had a quick look this morning and the other ones are all the same size as well. So basically once I've ordered that frame, I will get them all exactly the same. Now I am going to put a, I was only i was only going to have it where it didn't have a mat board and all the rest of it i'm actually going to put a mat board around it because i do like the look of that um and so that will just clean it up a little bit as well so i'm super, super, super excited. Yeah, yeah. um all done and dusted so as you can see behind me over here i've got a couple of trays and everything that um, i'm cleaning up because i've got to put my um Jasmine Beckett Griffith uh, stuff into that so I can empty that out now and that holds 60 so I can put all of the drills in there and not have to be stressing that I'm going to misplace them or anything. I have a couple more of these coming. They're just on the slow boat from China, I think. <laughs> so I'll get here when I get here. I've actually got a few because I also still have my haids, which you can see up the back there, that tube there, they're the two haids. I've got the drills coming for those. So that is all I've worked on. I didn't do any little stuff this week because, as I said, I didn't have time. I've been super busy getting ready for um, making bags and all that sort of stuff, a lot of prep work and vi filming and all that sort of stuff. So um, that's all I've worked on, which I'm pretty happy about. But I, as I said, I've got a new start, and now I have room to have another start. So I pulled out another Day of the Dead Girl. This one has a little bit more colour in it. Um, the next two actually have colour in them okay well, i know the red one does too but this has a little bit more so this this one i got from a local market here um and i don't know if she's still doing it or not because of covid and all that sort of stuff because i do know that she's working somewhere else and it's called um kelly's diamond paintings okay and that was her information there as i said i don't know if she's still doing it um this one is a 30 by uh 40 and it is a full square and that's what it's going to look like Okay, so I got it from the local markets and in the pack like she um, Chucked in some washi tape and you know, you've got your standard stuff and then you've got all your drills And I like this one because it actually has a picture so I can actually show it um, She's checked off everything and everything is there um, So yeah, so I'm pretty um, it's got 42 colors in it. So it's a little bit more than the the uh, 20 that I had in that one or the well, I don't even think it was 20, I think it was only 18 or something in that one. But this one's got 42 colours. And it also tells you how many drills of each one. That's pretty cool. And this line here tells you how many drills are in there. Um, and they look to be the um, DMC colours, so I'll be able to... Um, I'll be able to put them into their little, bat, little spots and all the rest of it. So, yeah. But... Um, like I know 606 is that reddish colour, so they look to be, um, I'm just looking at 720 is not as bright as it should be. But yeah, anyway, but they're all the drills that came with it. I'm not going to open those. 
and the canvas is a double-sided tape so I am looking forward to starting that that's going to get flattened out today I pulled it out of the cupboard and um, I'll probably start that on Friday night or over the weekend or something like that I don't know when I'll start it but I'll, I'll do a start on it but I am now going to that's all I've worked on and that's all I'm going to start I'm going to cut to the haul okay so I did get a little bit of haul this uh, week not a great deal but they're just some things that I've been waiting for I um, haven't opened these up yet, but I got these, um, they are metal places, and um, these only just came in yesterday, and they are from AliExpress, so they're, they're actually metal, okay, so, and they're sort of engraved, so we've got a elbow, we've got a five placer, then we've got a single placer, um, a three placer, and a straightener, and I think that's a seven um, placer. But yeah, I got these on AliExpress. They come on a fashion jewellery um, card, and they all sit there like that. So I was pretty happy with those, because I find some of the plastic ones, they, um, they're not moulded real well. And um, after a while, they get a little bit gr grubby and grimy. And I thought these would be great. They're metal ones and they fit into, I, like I did test, um, I, a friend of mine had um, some metal ones and I tested it in a couple of the pens and um, yeah, they worked really well. So um, I thought, well, I'll grab myself. She said she got them from AliExpress. So off I went and found them and they come in different um, metals. So this is the bright, like a, a real silver, silver. Then you've got a dull silver and then you have like a... Um, like a bronzy sort of color and there was like a bronzy black sort of color um which wasn't available at the time of me purchasing this but i'll leave a link down below where you can find them and they're they're really well made um like they don't have any burrs or anything on them like that they're nice and smooth so i'm looking forward to testing them out actually doing the diamond painting with them so i'm pretty happy about that and i, th I thought well even if i only use because i think they're only a couple of dollars even if i only use the metal um, straightener because I find the plastic one has a little bit of flex so that I've got so that'll come in super handy for that and then I've seen these cute little things um, I got these for Mia um, off AliExpress as well they're pretty dodgy but I mean she's probably not going to treat them with the best of respect but I thought they might help her because these were actually um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but one is supposed to be for a square and one is supposed to be for a round drill. But, I mean, that one does look like it's a square shape and that one's definitely a round shape. So we'll see how she goes with them because she was struggling a little bit to pick up the square ones when we were doing it. So I thought that might help her out. So I've got them there for when she comes up next. The other thing I got as well was some more Christmas ones. Um, so both those items are from AliExpress. The rest of what I've got here is from Fan Cells. And I get a lot of my off-the-canvas stuff and snack bite stuff from there. Um, so if you get your boat. And these are like the key rings that I've done. You would have seen I've finished a heap of them. So these are just another bundle of them. And I still have some more coming. Um, they're the chains that come with it. And these ones um, all have like just the specialty crystals and basically um they are single-sided so these ones are for Mia's little tree in her room um and that has a piece of something or other on it looks like a piece of acrylic from the process of making it so we've got a little santa we've got a present we've got another ginger man gingerbread man we've got some baubles We've got a snowman, a Christmas tree, a stocking, a very fluffy looking stocking, a candy cane, and another set of bells, but a little bit different this time. So yeah, they're all single-sided ones, and these ones, as I said, I'm doing for Mia's tree in her room. So when she comes up, she's got a little Christmas tree there, and the Christmas trees have started to come out in the stores, so I haven't even got over, um, out of October yet, and they're already starting to pop up, so I'll keep an eye out for a decent one for her room. And as you can see, they're just the, the same as the other ones. They're just all the crystals um, in various different uh, Christmas colours. And I'll leave the skew down below of this one um, where I got it from. As I said, most of this stuff I get from fan sales. Seems to be my one-stop shop uh, these days. Oh, 
Um, I'm just wrapping that back up because I've got a lot of Christmas stuff on the go. This one here um, I got as well from Fancells. Um, I thought that this was actually on hard plastic and it's actually not. So it comes with your boat. And again, these are just with some, it's got some black normal, um, or oh, they're super dark green actually, bordering on black. And um, then you've just got some crystals as well in Christmas colours, the colours you can see here. So, but this one here... Um, is like on a foam board. I thought it was going to be acrylic. I could have sworn it said it was acrylic. I have to double check it. Um, this only came in two days ago and um, I opened it up but I haven't had time to check it. So I don't know how well this is going to go. Um, it, it does seem a little bit flimsy but it comes with I mean, it's still okay because it only comes out once a year and it's hung up on the wall. So it's not, and I'm the only one that touches the Christmas decorations. So I'll know that it's there and to be careful with it. But um, it comes with the strap, the leather strap to hang it up. It's got the holes in it so you can, um, don't have to worry about doing any of that. And the, the drill area is pretty um, clear, but it's not as nice as I thought it was going to be. Um, and it doesn't really, from memory, it doesn't really look like the picture either. So maybe they sent me the wrong thing. I don't know. But anyway, that is another one, another Christmas one. And lucky last, um, I've got this one here. So this is, uh, I've got some larger drills in it. It came in this box. This is from Fan Sales as well. And this is a little hanging. Um, so all in Christmas colours. And it's just got those crystals. It comes with the chain and the boat, like all diamond painting stuff. And this one was actually really well packed. And this is how I thought the other Christmas one was going to come. It's from the same company. So, um, from Fan Sales. And this is how it came packed. And as you can see, it's acrylic. It is one-sided because it hangs on the wall. And it's a, a heap of little birdies. It's so cute. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to do that. So, they'll probably get done in that. That's what it's going to look like when it's finished. So, they'll get done in the next week or so. Um... I always do the, you know, your little, you know, you need those little finishes and all the rest of it. So that was my haul this week. Not a great deal. I do have a couple of other things uh, coming. It's not going to go back in for me on camera. So I'll just pop it in here and sort that out later. I'm actually probably going to start that um, anyway. All right. So that is my haul. As I said, I do have a few more things coming. Um, a lot of this is for, for little M um, to do. I'm actually going to get a couple more... Um, Christmas decorations the little ones and so she'll have a bundle here to do when she comes up just before Christmas and that's going to be here before we know it so I've got to get cracking ordering those but that's it for me for haul today so as you said I got a little bit of haul not too much this week it was just you know little bits and pieces a lot of it's there for for me and stuff like that but I, as I said I am going to order some more of those Christmas decorations and we're going to do them together because they're super easy but I wanted her to come here and have um have uh something to do and all the rest of it uh, for christmas but i also wanted her to have a christmas tree already done so she wasn't feeling like she had to get it done or anything like that so even if she doesn't finish them this christmas well they'll be there all right so now we're going to head off to um the diamond paint with me and um i'm doing something a little bit different in this okay, one okay so i have got this uh laid out i have my drills because i haven't finished my uh, Day of the Dead Girl and basically the one that I'm working on now because I just needed a new start <laughs> I'm naughty. I, I'm not going any more than three or four on the go. Notice how I said three or four <laughs> So I just gave myself a little bit of a loophole, but this is the one that we're working on. This came from Craftably It's called Frost Dragonling um, It is by Jasmine Beckett Griffith and basically it's 24 inches by 32 inches and it's a round drill I have got some of my drills out ready to start um, as I said, I've got them in this tray because I haven't finished my Day of the Dead and she's got my storage um, for my big charts and so and that's a zipper case so everything will stay in there and stay together. So because I'm working on a dragon one, I thought that I would pull out my um, oracle of, um, of dragon fray and so basically um, I thought I would do a draw. So I shuffled the cards off camera and I pulled out Lady Luna's Magic. So as um, I'm stitching away, we're going to talk about Lady Luna. Um, I've never drawn this card before. In, uh, I've had this deck for quite some time and I've never actually drawn this um, card before. But it is about um, 
I do know that it is a little bit about reconnecting, um, being a bit disconnected and going within and, and just, you know, reflecting on, on stuff and, you know, trying to um, ground yourself and that sort of stuff. So um, I'm going to read uh, about what the card is about and, and um, what it actually means when you draw this card. So I'm going to sit her there. She's going to keep us company with our little vanilla candle here. And um, I'm going to grab the book from it and I'm going to just make sure that I am thinking about the right card and all the rest of it. And we're going to place some drills down. All right. So the first thing that I should say is that the um, Oracle of the Dragon Fay is a, a collection that was put together by Lucy Cavendish. Uh, she is here in Australia. I believe she lives in Melbourne. And the artwork was by for this particular card was by Michelle Lee F um, Felon. I think you pronounce her name. It's P H E L A N. She is also another. Um, artists that I really enjoy her artwork and um, you'll see through this um, as I'm working on the, this particular one of Jasmine Beckett Griffith um, I will be drawing these cards each time and basically you'll get to see some of her artwork I do actually have one of her um, cross stitch which was the cover of the um, box that you've seen and um, at the beginning and basically yeah so I really do like her artwork as well I don't have, I've got a, I have that cross stitch of the cover, but I don't believe there is many other ones on Heaven and Earth design um, of her artwork. So, yeah, so um, hopefully I might see a diamond painting from her um, as well. So that'd be really nice if I could do something like that. So we are talking about Lady Luna today and um, Lady, Lu Lady Luna Magic is the card that I drew and um, I, as I said, I don't know much about this card. I've never drawn it before. So I do have the book out. Um, I don't often do this in public, uh, in the public forum uh, with the cards, oracle cards or tarot cards or anything like that. But I do readings for myself. I don't generally do it for other people uh, or anything like that. So please um, know that if you do send me a message asking for me to read your cards, uh, the answer will be no. Um, I do this for myself. But I just thought today I would do something a little bit different and um, I walked past and the cards were there. They were calling to me so I pulled them out and I thought, you know what, this will be something different. Um, we'll pull a card out and see what we're, what I um, draw today. So when I was shuffling the cards, I was just thinking about myself and, you know, I you know, what I needed to hear from the cards today um, and all the rest of it. So I just... That's pretty much what I do without going into too much detail or anything like that. Um, I often do look to the cards for some guidance every now and again, when, especially when I reach a blockage or anything like that. So, And I have been feeling a little bit that way this, this uh, past couple of weeks and uh, actually last couple of months. So it, it's um, they obviously called to me for a reason. So this is where we're at. And so a little bit about the card and I'm just looking at the book here. Um, it just says about Lady Luna. The moon is a goddess in its own right. Her magic is unique and otherworldly. And she is, she is shared and distributed amongst every single being on the planet. She has many names and guises, including the dark crone self, from which we must not run. But whose hand we, we may take and be led into the secret chambers of our own hearts. So a lot of like reflection and, and whatnot. I get from this card so um, this is what I'm feeling as I'm, I'm sort of reading along and why I seem to have drawn this card um, she is also known um, she is also known as Anarod, Ian, Selene, Atomies, Diana I, I struggle with names and the triple goddess I, I always know her as the triple goddess so um basically she has three phases so uh, for me the triple goddess is the maiden the the mother and then the crone um, that's how I identify um, the triple goddess her domain is that of dreams starlight magic and the in-between places she is ne neither black nor white she is silver and is radiant her messages and work are 
constant and yet ever changing. Our emotional well-being, our need for water and our love and dreams of all assisted by the Lady Luna. Um, She is compassionate, loving and is, sorry, she is compassionate, loving and is regular of all energies and emotions. Regulator, sorry. I'm terrible at reading out loud. Can you tell? (laughs) So just bear with me. Um, (laughs) So yeah, she's the regulator of our energies and our emotions. We shut ourselves away from her when we... you. We shut ourselves away from her when we use electric light. So basically, I don't, I um, a lot of people don't realize this when they come to my house. My house is quite dark. I, I use a lot of candlelight and a lot of very dull lamps and stuff like that. And um, I open on full moons and stuff like that. I always open all the curtains so her her light can come into the house. Um, when we we draw our curtains on the moon. And we pollute our skies to such a degree from the earth, um, she no longer bathes us in our light. So that's sort of what the car- card's about, um, can reconnecting with her and, and stuff like that. Um, so basically, my, I get a feeling from this card that um, I'm supposed to be reconnecting with, with myself, with her, um, drawing on her energies and stuff like that so I've just had a a bit of a quick look through Um, it says here when working with Lady Luna uh, you need to learn your moon sign and um, this will give you many clues of who you are at your core at your the core of your being Um, you know so we have many many layers that are eroded away from from us as we grow and all the rest of it so think back to when you were a child everything was magical and you've seen the magic in everything and you know there was just awe and all that sort of stuff well over time this is all eroded away from us as we become grow into adults and we become skeptical or or things like that so um you know the this card will help like this will help you um to find those, find that connection again and um, yeah so basically it's just saying here that um, you need to learn your moon sign and it'll give you the clues to who you are um, at the core of your being who you are under all the layers of unmagical conditioning that have been rubbed away or eroded from your natural abilities and your nat- natural intuitive abilities and your magical gifts so that's where I need to be and I have actually been talking about this quite a bit lately um, with my daughter and her friend and a couple of other friends of reconnecting again Um, a lot of uh, I've been feeling a lot of pull towards working um, my magical um, herbal remedies and and all that sort of stuff and uh, because I am very much into into connecting with the earth and and all that sort of stuff I've felt a strong yearning to to be reconnected I've felt um that I've needed to to cleanse my crystals and all that sort of stuff so there is a little bit of um pull towards the magical side of my being and and I've possibly why I am actually have pulled this card so um it does have a um, meanings and stuff like that um, throughout this little book that comes with it um, basically yeah I just think that um, I need to just take stock and, and reconnect and and I have been feeling a little bit of um, disconnect lately so this is just giving me a spur on I need to get in touch with myself get in touch with my magical side get it get in touch with some meditation and and all that sort of stuff and just really go and basically stand in the moonlight and just yeah feel her her energy and I'm always attracted to the moon I love full moons I love even when she's waning and even when she's waxing you know and stuff like that I do a lot of moon planting and and all that sort of stuff so I I do feel very connected to the moon um and I have as I said, felt a huge disconnect lately. So this is this is my kick in the butt, so to speak, from the cards to reconnect um, and take a look within and, and just, um, yeah. So that is the card. Um, that is how I am interpreting it today. I'm sure that there are other people out there that will interpret it a different way. Um, I, as I said, I don't necessarily do uh, readings for people as such. Um 
I try to to stay away from that. It is very much a personal thing for me. Um, but yeah, I love the artwork on this one too. Michelle's done a wonderful job of it. Um, the main focus of the card is to synchronize uh, with your lunar time and energy. So that's where I need to to um, look at. And I have been feeling a little bit run down. So maybe that might give me a little bit of a a little bit of a boost. Um, I'm I'm super happy that I've pulled this card today I'm going to do a little bit more research on it because as I said I have never pulled this one before so um, it's very interesting that I have pulled it um, it's a, like it's just going when uh, Lady Luna speaks it's got a, a, a quite a lengthy paragraph here um, it just says do not be afraid of my light um, and my night my nighttime self for you are the same as me and we are both older in older than time itself um, she has got a few things in here about um, you know you know that I shine upon you this earth and we are we belong to each other yet you have disconnected from all of your knowledge so that is yeah I hadn't read that part I was just reading you know working with and about Lady Luna so yeah I am interpreting that the way I should I am feeling a disconnect and and as I said I have been feeling like that for um quite a number of months now and all the rest of it so I am listening to the cards today and I am going to start a the process of reconnecting I hope that um I'm going to count to music now but I hope that you enjoy this little bit of a different um take and I as I said I am going to draw one every time I work on this because I am working on a dragon and what better cards to pull out than the dragon fae um they are beautiful cards you can find them um on Lucy Cavendish's uh website and um they are published here in Australia by Blue Angel Gallery and um, Lucy Cavendish has quite a few different oracle cards and books and all sorts of stuff. So, um, and I have a few of um, her books and I have a few of her oracle cards and I have a couple of other things that I've got from her website. I get bath salts and all that sort of stuff as well. I'll leave a link down below where you can visit her website if that's something that you're interested in. But as I said, I am going to pull one of these cards every time I work on it and we'll talk about it. So I haven't not pulled all of the, the cards from this um, deck before so some will be new to me some will be not so new to me and um, yeah I will ask the cards a question when I shuffle and I'll pull it out and then we'll talk a little bit about it but for now we're going to cut to some music
week. I hope that you enjoyed um, the little bit different dime paint with me doing a little bit of a card reading and having some music there. Um, I am looking forward to working on that chart every week for my diamond paint with me. So you'll be able to come along and see the progress. I might even um, look at maybe getting an extra video up here and there when I get a lot of work done on it because I don't only just work on it when I'm um, doing the diamond paint with me so hopefully I can get a fair chunk of this done in the next couple of weeks and you can come along with the journey with me and um, I've had a couple of requests as well for um, how I store my drills and all that or how I set up for a um, diamond painting so I am in going to process, do that process once um, I clear out all that and then you'll be able to see that as well so that'll probably get dropped in on a Thursday as well but that's it from me this week thank you so much for joining me I do appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend a little bit of it with me hopefully you got some drills down or you got some stitching done or whatever craft you um, enjoyed or maybe you just sat back and relaxed and had a cuppa I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in this big wide world stay safe and I will see you all again next time for another diamond painting video bye for now